When you're an archer on an Archmage's distro like Manjaro, you quite frequently want to install something from the AUR or the Arch user repository, but most people do this with a AUR helper. And as it turns out, all of the AUR helpers are on the AUR because they're not officially supported by Arch. So today we're going to have a look at how to actually install something from the AUR without using an AUR helper. So let's have a look. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to be installing a package from the AUR. This is a fairly simple process, so this shouldn't be too long of a video. So I'm going to install Yay because I don't actually have an AUR helper installed on my computer and I might as well just install this in case I want to use it for a future video because I might actually do a video specifically on this program itself. So when you want to install something from the AUR, the easiest way to do it is go into whatever your search engine is, whether that's DuckDuckGo, Google, Bing, Yahoo. Does Yahoo still exist? I actually don't know. And you want to obviously search for the package and then AUR and you'll get to this website. Or you can come directly to it and search through that. So what we want from here is this git clone URL. So we'll copy this and go over to our terminal. And basically what we want to do is clone that URL. So you're going to need to have git installed for this. When you installed Arch, you should also have installed base devel, I believe. That comes with make package. On Manjaro, I imagine that probably comes by default or whatever other Arch based distro you're using. Probably Arco has it as well. And if you don't, then you can just install it separately. So we'll clone this repository. It shouldn't take too long. And we look at that. It should be here now. Yep, cd into yay. And what we want to do here is a good practice here is to actually check out your package build, just to make sure it's not doing anything obviously dangerous. You should do a lot more work actually going through any package builds you download from the AUR because they might actually do something dangerous to your system. I haven't run into any problems so far and typically the comments leave a lot of help and there's a lot of research you can do online as long as you're not doing some like random packages that just showed up out of nowhere. So what we want to do is I'll run the man page for this first. So we're going to run make package with two options. We're going to run it with the dash s option, which is this one down here, the sync dependencies option. So this will install the missing dependencies using Pac-Man. And the other option we're going to use is the dash i option. And that will install or upgrade the package after the package is successfully built using Pac-Man, basically. So from here, basically what we want to do is run make package dash si and that will build the package do all of that extra stuff that you need to do and this will take a couple of seconds to go through all of this so I'll cut back to when this is done okay so now that it's gone through the build process you'll be prompt with the menu that you're normally prompt with when you download something with Pac-Man so we will say yes to installing this and now I have yay installed so you can go ahead and actually delete this file now this uh, folder that you cloned we don't need that anymore. Now it's been installed with Pac-Man. So if we run man yay, then see we have yay installed now. And when you install it through this process, it also adds the uh, package into Pac-Man. So you can do the normal stuff that you would do with Pac-Man. So say you want to, what's, why do I write pseudo man? Pseudo Pac-Man dash R for example. And say we want to remove yay, then we can just remove it as we normally would. When you're installing with your package builds like this, they will be added into Pac-Man, and then uh, basically Pac-Man takes control over them, which is really nice because then you don't have to worry about managing your own packages or anything like that. So I think that's pretty much everything for this video. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon below if you want to see more from my channel. I've got a Twitter account, as I mentioned in the past couple of videos. It will probably go across the screen right now or something. We'll see what I want to do. And yeah, if you want to leave a comment, then let me know what distro you're running and whether you, when you first used Arch, if you're using Arch, if you had any idea how to use the AUR, because I had no idea when I did it. And it took me a couple of hours to actually work out how to install anything. So I think that's pretty much everything for me. And yeah, I'm out. <laughs>